um, in terms of what he's contributing that's new and exciting, um, he's a bit, well, he's a very bit, a bit like, like Bach and Handel. Uh, is he really an innovator? Or is he someone just bringing to his works a brilliance that uh, hadn't existed before, but essentially not changing a central structure? Um, what does he have that people don't, that others don't have? Um, well, if you take a look at the, the ballet, Nele Mirtis and Pygmalion are two ballets, two one-act ballets. Uh, we're essentially talking about a form that existed before, but perhaps um, not as brilliantly conceived as is the case with, with Rameau. His harmonic language is new. Um, he's invented it. You hear a piece of Rameau and you say to yourself, there can't be anybody else but Rameau. Um, because of the extreme uh, brilliance of the harmonic writing. Um, he brings as well to a form that was known, uh, an extraordinary brilliance in terms of orchestral texture and writing as well. None of his contemporaries or none of his immediate predecessors, like Compa or uh, Mondonville, Monteclair, uh, have the audacity or have this extraordinary richness that he brings to the orchestra. And then you add as well to that, perhaps a sense of rhythm, um, an extraordinary sense of rhythm that I find perhaps more uh, as exciting as, as, as anything that, that Stravinsky could have written 200 years later. Uh, and it was obviously just as new sounding uh, in 1750 or 1745 as Stravinsky was in 1910 or 1915.